Welcome back, tribe. We got a woman here divorcing her husband in 30 years, hitting the wall and regretting it all. Let's see. I just want other women to know that we don't need to hate men. They have their problems too. They're going through life things as well. I missed my family. I miss oh. being a family. Bruh. I'm gonna keep my heart and my mind open and I won't take other women beating me down because I'm not doing what they want. Refresh your memory with few clips that will summarize her story until now. Good morning. Do you want to become a miserable old woman? I don't think any of us do, but women, you know, you've seen those women out there. The women that are nattering and nagging their husbands that are bitchy, that aren't nice, that are seem to be so unhappy. And we think, oh God, I hope I'm never one of those miserable old women. And you know how that happens? That happens from raising a family, working, and then all of a sudden we're in our 50s and 60s and we have nothing. We don't have a life. We don't have a life separate from our family or separate from our husband. And so- What? You're married. Your family is your life. What are you taught? Do you see? Oh my God, man. Can it get more narcissist than this? This is crazy. You got married. You now join into one. Then you had kids. Now your marriage is about your kids and your family as a whole, not yourself. Now, if you want to go and have a coffee by yourself or you want to go and work out and you want to go pursue a hobby within your marriage by yourself, do that. That doesn't mean leave your family, you idiot. What is it with these people? You can be your own independent person while married and raising kids. Am I, am I, am I insane here? Is the, is the option divorce only that you want to go hang out with your girlfriends that are also as old as you, old as shit, doing a bunch of nothing and complaining and nagging to one another? You got to be divorced to do that? What, man? Oh, we resent everybody. So you know what you need to do? You need to get your own life. Get her own life. That's exactly what she did by deciding to end her 30-year-old marriage. Well, I did it. Here I am on my new bed, my princess bed. It's amazing, I feel like a different person already. I feel like I can do whatever I want and I don't, I'm not responsible for anybody anymore but me. Well, it didn't take long for her to realize that her life was still miserable even after divorcing her husband. Hi, I don't know, things aren't going that great. <laughs> I just keep thinking about what it used to be like. <laughs> Look at that. The euphoria just washed away immediately when reality sets in, when day to day, the crippling boredom and loneliness of not having your people you're responsible for coming in and out of the door, telling you, hello, hey, mom, how are you doing? Hey, mom, I need this. Hey, mom, you're not useful to anybody anymore but yourself. It's crippling to be at the top of that pyramid, the mother of the family where everybody caters to you and you cater to them and you have a massive social net that also supports you, that you support as well, right? It's a mutually beneficial relationship here. You had it all, all, you had it all. And you left that to be independent and not responsible for them. And this is what happens. This is tremendous. When things were good. Oh. And maybe all of this Bruh. was my fault. Maybe I'm a selfish narcissistic wow maybe it's me maybe uh, i'm the uh, one i don't know maybe come on I'm get it out struggling all that fake all that happy oh i'm doing so great i think i was in shock damn and now it's coming like into reality and Perfect. i don't know mm. Perfect. I know this is just a separation and there are a lot of worse things in the world than this. No, there, no, 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 no. You're old now. You got nothing left. There is no Prince Charming to save you at 50 plus years old with multiple kids. Just destroyed your own 30 year old marriage to go see if grass is green on the other side. And it wasn't. It was dead. It was barren. It was a fucking post volcanic ash wasteland on the other side. And you realize this quickly. Oh boy. And the gates to Garden of Eden that you were on 
Closed, baby. You're just looking over the fence now, standing on volcanic rock. Just looking at the other side. Green, pristine as could be. I just don't know what my life's oh. going to be like. Boring. Depressing. I can't seem to remember Lonely. anything bad. I just remember all the good things. Cats. And then the feelings of jealousy kicked in when she learned that her ex-husband had a new, hot, young girlfriend. Perfect. The last oh. few days have been super traumatizing for me. Uh, <laughs> my own fault. Um, uh, it's always my fault. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I guess I, I did know. But um, that <laughs> I would have this really strong reaction physically trauma reaction to finding out that my estranged husband has been having a new relationship mm. you can't imagine your husband and your children having a great time without you oh yeah or perfect. with a new woman perfect and i think the hard part is that because oh, here I've been comes with the tears for so long since i was 18 <clears throat> for him to be in a relationship where he is in one and you you can't figure it out in your mind and then it felt like he had died oh. and i kept getting this sick feeling like he was gone and dead oh and you um, lost him i almost wished he was dead more wow. regrets and tears for missing her family unit followed after that Anyway, um, this really lovely woman, I cut her hair and do her highlights and I do her kids' hair and um, her husband. And they invited me to dinner tonight. It's Saturday night. And I was getting ready to go and Ooh. I bought the kids um, little gifts. And I just thought, I'm going to go and have dinner with these people and their children. Ah, <laughs> you used to have it, huh? Instead of being at home with my own emotional And I damage. wonder what I'm doing. Ooh. What it's the really hell? Not... I don't know what to do. I don't know why I feel like this. Oh. I miss my family. Oh, not the cat. I miss being a family. Oh, it's so hard. It's Denied. really hard. <laughs> it just hit me. Oh, like all of everything I've ever known is mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. My mission fails. We'll get them next time. Anymore. I mean, they're There's here, no next but time. we're not together. Oh. Now that you guys have the context of the story, we can watch the video she just dropped today. She is now willing to do anything oh to God. win her husband back. And modern women in her comment section are trying to shame her to the point that she had to block some of them. So, um, I have a few things I want to talk about and I'm going to start and I didn't rehearse this, but I just need to get it out. I believe that women our age, a lot of us are an you know, I, I'm not this way, but I got some, like, kind of comments that I want to talk about. When you're in your 50s and you're dating men in their 50s, you have to understand and uh, that we have so much wounds. Like, we have so much going on. We've been through marriages and divorces, and we have children, and we've been hurt, and we have all kinds of baggage. So when women expect men to be perfect and never, there's never a blip and they check all your, you check all the boxes and you suddenly get one thing that happens. Wrong, lean back to them. That's it, I'm out. Do you understand that you're missing out on a person that could be very important to you? No, you they don't. might never get to know somebody because you're so focused on being treated like a queen. And I understand being treated like a queen is important. But when someone has family Bruh. and children and responsibilities, they don't always have all that energy to put into you. You're not a princess. We are human beings. I don't want to hate men. I'm not tired of men. I want to be kind and I want to give back to a man just the same as 
I expect him to give back to me. And I'm not a dummy. I'm not going to hang out with somebody who treats me like shit. You know when that's happening. You can tell. And if it gets to the point where I feel miserable, I'm out. I know who I am. And I know that I'm valuable and I'm smart and I'm funny. Nope. And I just don't want to have this inside hatred for all men or have these preconceived ideas. Oh, Misogyny. that's because he's a man or he's a misogynist or because his opinions might be, you know, old fashioned or if he's a dick, you're going to know it. I'm going to know it. Nope. And um, there's like so much out there for us and nope. i want to keep that hope i want to nope. keep that feeling of excitement no nope. i want that and nope. i'm going to give care packages and i'm going to bring him coffee and make little snacks all and, of a sudden you know what all of a sudden i want care packages i want to fix him up his favorite meal i want to send him off to work with the nice fresh home-cooked meal that I made all of a sudden after being divorced from him that I initiated and saw the crippling loneliness of not having anybody around me. And then I tried to date and then it was a barren wasteland because of my baggage. Oops, I made a mistake. Babe, could you take me back? <laughs> my plan failed. I'm curious if he took her back. I'm going to get it back because uh, I'm giving it. And if bruh. I don't, then that is a different story. I just want other women to know that we don't need to hate men. They have their problems too. They're going through life things as well. And yeah, some men are dicks. And that's why we got, you know, we moved on. Or Is that why you it moved didn't on? work and we moved on. But, but. I'm going to keep my heart and my mind uh. open. I know who I am and I'm very proud of nope. it. And I won't take other women beating me down because wow. I'm not doing what they want. Oh, and I'm not saying that any of you did that. There, there are some women that I have had to like block, you know, get rid of like that are oh. constantly after me. Toxic. And um, mm. I'm putting myself out here. I'm very vulnerable. Okay. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but I also, you know, I, I appreciate advice but I also can give advice. Oh. So far, there is only one person in her comment section that is really encouraging her to get back with her husband. Her comment says, Anyways, I'm rooting for you to get back with your husband, even if it takes years to fix the issues that you two had. Try. Be yourself with him. All the other comments are either ignoring her message or bashing her. I actually give some credit to this woman for trying her best to get her family back, even though she is the one that destroyed it. It's over. She's not getting shit back. The dude already replaced her with a younger model and they're having fun. The kids are having fun. That's that's the one that hurt the most. That's when she started wanting to come back because before before she thought she could do better and he couldn't. But then she got replaced immediately and then she's struggling to find her Prince Charming to sweep her off her feet. Now the value proposition has changed in her mind back to where her husband is the prize and now she wants it all back. You can't just have it all back. You left. That's what the divorce is for. It's final. Move on with your life the way your man did. That's why you got replaced with somebody else. These aren't things you could just do willy-nilly and expect to take backsies. It doesn't work that way, man. You completely altered the life of your family over some fifis. You thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it was spurred on by your stupid TikTok audience, most likely. The content you consume. I tell you guys all the time, bro, if she's addicted to social media, red flag. It doesn't matter what age they are. Indoctrination, brainwashing is at an all-time high. You can't, it's hard. Even when you know that that's all you're looking at, it takes over your mind. Scrolling nonstop every day. Men ain't shit. Men ain't this. You're a queen. Princess treatment. Get treated like the best. Your man should have a six pack. Six feet tall. Six hundred million dollars in the bank. You know, nonstop brainwashing. They do this every day when they're bored. While you're at work busting your ass, providing your family with a nice roof, your kids with brand new clothes, fridge is full, life is great, they have no worry in the world. Brainwashing. My family's getting brainwashed. I have to come home, deal with shit. She tells me the toilet seat was left up. That's not princess treatment. TikTok tells me so. Let's get a divorce. That shit is wild.
These people can't think for themselves. This is why you have to vet for consciousness, because it's like lacking today. For self-esteem, because it's lacking today. For common sense, because it's lacking today. These things aren't that common. People are running like bots on autopilot. The script here is the script that they download into their brains every day as they consume this. That's what you got to look out for, man. You have to find people that think completely differently, that think independently and critically for themselves, that question all the information they're being told, that wonder why the world works the way it does. Just because somebody told you this doesn't make it true. Why would you tell me this information? Who benefits from this information? Find people like that and you'll do well in life with your partner. If you take somebody that accepts everything at face value, man, you're, you're screwed. If they get their cues from this thing, you're screwed. It's unfortunate. And get rid of the sunk cost fallacy. You may be in a relationship right now with the person that's addicted to this. Fucking get rid of them. You're wasting your time. These are people, this is like a behavior that's ingrained in them. There's an IQ here that you need, a baseline that needs to be set for these people to not be addicted to these things. Everybody else is just a fucking bot, dude. And you're going to pay the price. You, not them. They're going to be brainwashed into acting however their phone tells them to act. You're the one that deals with the consequences. Intelligent people are rare. That's the problem. There's a sea of morons out here that are just NPCs waddling through life, being told how to think, what to think, what to eat, how to live, who to hate, everything. It's programmed for them. Oh boy. I was talking to the widow next door. She was bad mouthing her late husband for being a strong controlling male. I had a reminder that her husband invested, bought property and set her and their children up for their life, for the rest of their life. That was his sacrifice to her. A little loyalty on her part wasn't a big of a sacrifice, was it? She started to cry. She didn't lose her life and family, as she keeps saying. She killed it. My sister fell for the toxic gynocracy brainwashing in college. She's now in her 50s, single, alone, working 60 hours a week while still paying back her student loans and paying rent. My mother, who never went to school, got married at 18, was a stay-at-home mom. Now my father passed on. She's retired, living in a paid-off house with no bills other than utilities, money in the bank, new car, and she does and goes where she wants. She misses my father daily and still goes to see him at the cemetery every week to thank him. Boy, oh boy, look at that difference. Interesting insight here. I'm a private investigator in the state of Michigan. This has become an epidemic with women in the last five years. It's insane. It's heartbreaking. I keep in touch with a lot of the clients from those five years and quite a few of them say that their exes are begging for them to take them back. It's extreme fourth wave gynocracy that has taken its grip on this country and is killing it, us all. My wife cheated on me and I divorced her. After 10 years, we started talking again for the kids. She has begged me to leave my girlfriend and be with her again. The guy she cheated on me with dumped her after two to three months. She is alone, she's depressed, and she got fat. Both of our daughters are pregnant and due soon, so we have to interact. But she is a train wreck and I feel sorry for her. But I would never take her back. She burned that bridge years ago and isn't ever going to get fixed. Amen.